you know, like, how do you think about um, how, like, what should organizations really start thinking? Like, how should they think about generative AI yeah. right now and about adopting it? Like, what uh, stage do you think they're in? Um, okay, so first and foremost, it is not, and let me repeat this, it is not a Ron Popeil chicken machine. Do you remember <laughs> that Ron was my Popeil? First thought. <laughs> Do you remember Ron Popeil? Do you no, remember those? Okay, no. it was those infomercials, and he had a chicken machine, right? And he would go in, and he'd be like, "Set it and forget it," and he'd put the chicken <laughs> in, and he'd shut the door, and he'd be like, "In forty-five minutes, there will be an amazing chicken right here." And so people would be like, "Oh my god, I could make a chicken." Well, like anyone could have made a chicken. You just put it in your oven for that same amount of time. You would have had a cooked chicken, but no one thought of that, right? No one was ever like, oh my gosh, it's just an oven. So here's this Ron Popeil chicken machine. And everyone's like, oh, and the whole audience would be there like, and it'd be like, it was like all women. So not stereotypical in any way, shape or form. So it's all women. And they're like, he's like, ladies, do you want a chicken tonight for dinner? They're like, set it. And forget it. it. Right? Like, I totally right. remember that. So I just everyone wants your chicken. That. Okay. So here's the problem. We're all thinking about AI like it's this weird Ron Bobiel chicken machine. Are we going to set it and forget like it? Like we're going to set it and forget <laughs> it. Like, oh my God, these models are so amazing. They're so great. They can, they can mirror human empathy and emotion. They're going to be sentient and they're going to learn things. And you're like, did you season the chicken before you put it in? Like, you need someone to kind of make that stopgap to be like, I'm the set director for Ron Popeil and I seasoned the chicken. Like you need to remind people of yeah. that. So I think that people are kind of looking at generative AI, which is a huge, huge leap forward. It is not to say that generative AI and all the large language models and the stable diffusion models and all the things that we have unlocked. It's not to say that they're not amazing. We have to really start to think how we want to put them into action. Yeah, how to apply across, it. Really. Yeah, there needs to be a strategy. There needs to be a business use case, as with all technologies. But it's because, like, around November, everyone's mom and dad could go on to chat GPT and be like, please write a breakup note in, you know, as a sonnet, but in the voice of Jay-Z. And they got it. They're like, this is amazing. And they would go into their marketing teams or they would go into their sales teams or their design teams and be like, have you heard about ChatGPT? It's amazing. And you're like, no. You know, so there has to be a strategy and there has to be a remembrance that what makes these models amazing is not the model itself. 